Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A really interesting matchup of coaches in this game. One guy sort of subscribes to the old school philosophy. It's been ingrained in him from his time as a player. You keep the ball on the ground, you win with toughness, and you follow the rules that have always won football games. The guy on the other sideline, he doesn't believe that. He's pitched out the old book, and he's writing his new one. Both of them have been very effective so far. We'll see which one comes out on top today. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football Pregame Show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. This is Wallace Wade Stadium, located here in the Old North State, North Carolina. Let's head down to the coin toss now. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Pittsburgh is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, from that first time they walked on campus as a recruit to their freshman season, and now here they are as seniors taking the field for the final time. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Five yards there for the quarterback. That brings him second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 30. And they make the stop around the 26-yard line. There might not be a more naturally gifted defender in the country. He made that play look easy. to the tailback. He's taken down at the 27-yard line. Jones only picks up about a yard there on the draw play. Meade is the punter. Booming kick. Brought down at the 40. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Gets it. He's in space. And he's tackled at the 49-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick throw, and he's got his man again. Great job by the quarterback. He had a slant called against zone coverage and threw it at the perfect time. Dangerous throw, and this one's picked off. And he's leveled at the 22. This safety always seems to be in the right place at the right time. It's no surprise that he comes up with the interception here. First and ten. Ball on their own 22. Lateral's back. 
Fourth down at the 24. The running back gets two on the carry. Not much gained on that play because his safety did a wonderful job of getting up there, making a good tackle on the ball carrier. get him in the backfield for a loss. They don't get back to the line of scrimmage there on the option keeper, a loss of one. It's third and nine. Ball in the 23. The 34. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Good job by the junior linebacker to read the run and limit the play to a short gain. is how he followed the play and he just didn't give up on it. It was that effort that allowed him to come away with the fumble. And the offense will take the field and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And he might want it all here defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. From the 31-yard line, second down. Got a man, watch out here. He's tackled around the 20-yard line. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver, and the result, again, a nice play for the offense. Second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He might not be able to get the pass off. Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Good for a gain of six yards. That makes it first and goal. Second down and goal. Ball on the four-yard line. Easy, easy, easy. And he's taken down at the one-yard line. Check, check. Everybody bunched up tight defensively. 
off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. I think sometimes offenses forget to even include corners as defenders in tackle because a lot of corners just want to be out there and playing against the pass. But this is a corner that they have got to be responsible and remember in the future that he's got to be involved in being able to come up with the blocking scheme. This time they just let him go and he's athletic and strong enough to come up and make a play. Pittsburgh is ready to kick it away. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. The halfback with a carry. They'll bring him down at the 26. So the delayed handoff gets maybe a yard. That brings, that brings up second, second and nine. Second and nine. Ball on the 26. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. That was a loss of one yard. That brings up third and ten. Quick throw. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That brings us fourth and seven. Hey, on the ball. Get ready, get ready. Mead to punt. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And he's taken down at the 34-yard line. You know, a lot of people in college football might find these types of games boring. But if you look at the start of this game, this is good old-fashioned football, partner. I agree with you, Brad. I think sometimes you look at games, and if it's sloppy offense, that's one thing. But when you see two defenses go out and play with a great deal of emotion and dominate a football game, sign me up for that every time. There are three quarters remaining. The Panthers with a three-point lead. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Feeds it to the back. Makes it to the 47. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Pittsburgh holds a field goal lead. Black five, black five. Oh. Runs left and quickly taken down. I don't think the play developed the way it was supposed to, and the net result is a loss. From the 47-yard line, it's second down. Under pressure, and he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Sure the defense thought he came up short. You know, sometimes the officials' judgments can have a big impact on a game. First and ten. Ball on the 36. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 27. Watkins makes the tackle at the 27-yard line. That makes it second and two.
It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Pittsburgh is up a field goal. Gets it out quickly. He's all the way home. Touchdown. Six-play, 66-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And they push him out the 33-yard line. Second down and about two yards to go. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. That is a loss of one yard on the way. That makes it third and three. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Shift, shift. So the design quarterback run goes for about three yards on the play. That makes it fourth and inches. Meade awaits the snap. Oh, excellent punt. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Pittsburgh's team, when you look at them, I think they got to be happy with how versatile they can be because they do have a star that is not having a star-type game right now, and yet they got the lead here, and we're almost at halftime. Yeah, I think they've really shown their versatility as an offense. Uh, to think that we would be sitting here close to this first half being over, and to see that their go-to wide receiver is not putting up these big numbers and yet they still have the lead just tells you a lot about their coaching, the in-game adjustments, and the way the rest of the teammates of this receiver stepped up. Your instincts tell you to go for the pick. You've got to make the best play you can, and sometimes it's just batting the ball away. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Passes in, and it's picked off by the safety. Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back and maybe have a chance to get back into this game, but this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline and about how excited they are to get the football back and have a chance to put points on the board. They'll drop in for a loss. Call it a loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 47. And he makes it out to about the 44-yard line. Defense. 
They're giving away free Still yards and only making life easier for the guys on the other side of the ball. It's first and ten. Ball on the 11. He's scrambling. And he's sacked. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Makes the catch and look out. And he is drilled at the 11. That's a game of six on the play. Third down. They come out on an empty backfield. There's a fumble. It's picked up by the defense. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. Fires quickly, and it's picked off. Bounces off a would-be tackler. He's taken down at about the 22-yard line. About two minutes before halftime. Duke will take their first time out of the half. That'll give them 1,000 yards rushing this season. I just continue to be amazed by this back's vision. There are not that many who are better at finding a hole and hitting it hard. Third trip now into the red zone. And he's tackled at about the 11. Short gain there by the tailback, and he's still going to come away with a first down. Well, the defense did a pretty good job there and didn't give him much room. Unfortunately for them, there was just enough space to eke out two yards he needed for the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. He laterals the ball. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. Man, it's difficult to run on this defense when they put this kid up in the box. There's a player hurt. It doesn't look to be that bad. From the 11-yard line, second down. They're about four yards away here on third down. The Blue Devils running back down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means a lot to this offense, but I think he's going to be able to come back in. Looks like he's ready to go. And they get the sack. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and it's through the uprights. Quarter, 
as his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Fielded at the nine. He wasn't breaking that tackle. What a hit. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to wait possessions. Pittsburgh is up a score. He sails it long. He's hit and taken down. The receiver found a hole in the zone and turned it into a first down. No matter what type of defensive coverage you have, there are always going to be holes. The best thing you can do is make those holes small so the quarterback can't get the ball in there. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. Pittsburgh's going to have to use their second time out of the half. on the extra point with a three-play 73-yard drive and it results in a touchdown boy that is scoring in a hurry this offense is looking more and more explosive so our score 17-3 everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff excellent kick and they can forget about returning this one Three points was the result of their last drive as the offense heads out for another. He's tackled around the 26-yard line. We've still got a half of football remaining. Pittsburgh's in front by 14. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Seemingly an avalanche of turnovers in the first half. You'd think that there would be better ball security in the second half, but if these teams continue on this benevolent path of continuing to hand the football to the other side, Who's going to get the edge? What's the most important thing to getting the edge in a game like this? Well, I, I don't know which team's going to continue to be a nonprofit and just give the football <laughs> away. Here you go. You know, here's some charity. I mean, whichever team can can put some drives together and not shoot themselves in the foot. I mean, it's it's really painful because when you do put together good plays followed up by bad ones. All right, Reese, David, thanks, guys. Just about set to start the third quarter. From the seven, he's to the 20. He's out to the 30. He's pushed out of bounds at the 34. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. They come out in a five-wide set. He might not be able to get the pass off. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle at the 32. Gaining 34 yards. First down. And the big pickup through the air has made it first and ten. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. There's one the quarterback would like to rewind because he has a wide open receiver and he just misfires.
Jones. He's having a good year. Five sacks on the season now. I'll tell you what, this guy seems to give maximum effort on every play. He is so hard to keep off the quarterback. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Throws complete. He's got space to work. Tackle made at the 16-yard line. That's a good five-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. The score now, 24-3. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Pressured and brought down. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. So the sack makes this a second and long. Let me hear it. Let me feel you. Throws complete. He's got room to work. And he's taken down at the 28-yard line. here by the running back. They had him locked up in the backfield, but he broke free and just flew down the field for a huge game. First and ten following that big run. From the 15 yard line, second down. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Follow the loss of one yard on the play. That brings us third and ten. This is the eighth play of this drive. Hey, check, check. Check 59, Mike. Mike. Down. 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 Touchdown, and it ain't over yet. The 
He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 31. The Panthers had that hot hand on offense, and they just keep on going here in quarter number three. The greatest thing you could say about these guys today is consistency. They are moving the football and putting points up on the board. They're going to be tough to beat. The offense was able to punch it in the end zone on that last drive. They'll come back out looking for more of the same. <laughs> this offensive coordinator has got to be feeling so good about the execution that he's seeing from his quarterback and his wide receivers. Because, again, they put so much time in trying to put a plan together. And to be able to see that actually come into play makes you feel pretty good as a play caller. They're about four yards away here on second down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. And they make the stop around the 41-yard line. Thomas gains four yards on that reception. The corner was coming hard off the edge with a full head of steam. He got there just a little bit too late. And down he goes right around the 48-yard line. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. From the 48-yard line, hey, it's first kill, down. Kill, kill. Black five, black five. He makes his way to about the 38. That brings up second and one. pass and he's right there and knock it away he threw that to a guy who was well covered and it almost got intercepted yeah he's very lucky that ball was only tipped it's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker got a man watch out here I like how the offense is using the pass to get him involved. He's explosive, and you just want to get the ball in his hands. Watch 19, watch 19. Let's go. Nice run up the middle. That's a team second. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Makes it to the 22-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. middle for a nice game. That's a gain of five on the play. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 17. And it's caught, and he's brought down quickly. Second and, five. and this is the 11th play of the current drive. And he makes it out to about the 11-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. for six and he got it touchdown
he hits the PAT. So a 12-play, 70-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. So the score now, 31-10. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. For Pittsburgh, they're having success rushing the passer tonight. This defense has been bringing the blitz and is having success getting to him. They also gotten him to turn it over twice. This defense is still feeling the pressure of the passing game. Yeah, pretty decent average. So if they can do more of that, it'll swing the pressure around. Four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. So at the end of the third quarter, Pittsburgh in front, 31-10. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Scrambling around. They'll make the sack. This young guy might be feared by more quarterbacks than anyone in the country. That's probably because he's the best at what he does in the whole country. Third and long now after the sack. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Throws incomplete. They got a hand on it. You know, for you young cornerbacks and young defensive backs, this is a great example of just being smart and efficient as a defender. Instead of taking a chance and going for that interception, he was smart. He got in position, knocked the football away, and didn't give the receiver a chance to make a play on the football. Booming kick. at the 47. The Panthers just put on a clinic in this football game. Right? Hey, you can say that again, Brad. In every phase, the defense has been outstanding. The special teams have been solid. And how about this offense and the way they've executed? It's allowed them to build up a very big lead. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. And they get nice yardage on that run. Good That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Very good tackle in space. Alston picks up about four yards with a catch. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. And the quarterback didn't waste any time getting rid of that one. He took the snap and he threw it right out there. Easy, easy. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. That makes it seven and ten. Second and ten. Ball on the 37-yard line. Got it and brought down immediately. Johnson for the tackle at the 31-yard line. Third down. Let's go, let's go. Hey, here we go. Get on the ball. Kill, kill, kill. Gunner three. He's taken down at the 29-yard line. He got a lot of jersey on that play. Not too much argument about this play. It looked like he might pick up a head of steam and get the first, but the defense collapsed on him before he could get there. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. This one might be coming back, First folks. Let's off. check out the penalty. Flipping. Flipping. Offense. Offense. Still, Still fourth, fourth down. down. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Try to throw it 
throw for it, but ended up getting sacked. Sometimes you get a bit greedy when you're not playing from behind. And I think that's what happened here. In my mind, they'd have been better off punting and forcing them to drive the length of the field. So we're just about ready to return to action. Gets it out quick, and it's going the other way. He didn't throw it away under pressure, and it really cost him. It sure did. He saw that he was going to get hit and just threw one up for grabs. He's got to learn to take the sack. From their own 46-yard line, first down. Takes the toss left. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. Fights forward to about the 46. A yard, maybe two on the carry. He got right in there and popped the ball carrier. This senior just doesn't back down from anyone. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. He's got it with room to run. And he tackles him hard at the 36-yard line. That last completion puts him over 300 yards passing in the game. Well, this quarterback has had a solid game. He's done what's been asked of him, and then some. You can see when he throws the ball well, this team usually wins. Here we go, here we go. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That's a game of two. That makes it second and eight. From the 34-yard line, it's second down. Tackle around the 11-yard line. That makes it first and ten. Just under three to go in regulation. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That brings up second and five. It's second down, five to go. Ball on the six yard line. And he makes it out to about the five yard line. And this is the ninth kill, play kill, of the kill, current kill. drive. Pitch play to the left. Tackle made at the four-yard line. A minute to go in the ball game. He gets it up, and he's got it. Let's throw it out to Reese now for a studio update. Let's have a look at what's going on in Blacksburg. And for Georgia Tech, they've now dumped four in a row. Pittsburgh will take their first time out of the half. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. Pittsburgh's just not going to let them come for air, I guess. Well, this defense has just been stifling. They've shut down the running game. They've, for the most part, limited the big plays in the pass game. And they've got a nice lead here in the fourth quarter. Now, here comes the offense. And you've got to wonder if that last interception's weighing on the quarterback's mind at all. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. He wants it all. Missed it. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. 
Under a minute left. He gets rid of this one. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws a bullet. Nice grab on the play. And he's taken down at about the 21. So what do you think of this receiver after that play? The quarterback made a nice throw, but it was the receiver who made this happen. That's a great way to make a statement. Now it's first and 10 after the big pass play. Makes it out to about the 13. Jones gains eight yards on that play. Duke will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Check three, check three, check three. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit, shit. Quick strike to the receiver. This passing game can be very effective if you don't get enough pressure on the quarterback. They use their personnel well and can be very tough to defend. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They're packed in tight on the line. Toss, left side. Touchdown, Blue Devils. Well, that'll give them something positive to end on, but today, no, it just wasn't their day. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. And the defense stops the ground game. No two-point conversion there. And this one comes to an end. Our final count in this game, 34-16, Pittsburgh. 16. So that wraps things up for us, 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.